Welcome back, uh, dear viewers. For today's session, let us discuss uh, in this session about the LS of monocot embryo. As we all know that, you know, uh, even in fact in the previous class also I have told you that the zygote will undergo after its formation a period of rest. After a period of rest, it will undergo the cleavage or the mitotic division to start developing into an embryo. So the same thing happens with both the dicot embryo as well as the monocot embryo. Here also the development is rather very simple. In, even in the case of dicot embryo, it is simple. Here, let me tell you, we can find, uh, as I said you before, again, you know, the differences only in the later stages of uh, the embryo development, not in the initial stages between the dicot and monocot embryo. Fine. So now, let us consider we have a zygote. So let us consider this as the zygote. The zygote will undergo a division to form or develop into two cells. That is the upper cell we call as basal cell and the lower cell we call that as terminal cell. The basal cell again towards the micropylar end and terminal cell towards the chalazal end. Same as in the case of dicot embryo, how we found the same here also we can find my dear friends. Now, the basal cell in case of dicot embryo forms suspensor, 6 to 8 cell it was. But here it is just a single celled vesicular, vesicular suspensor will be formed. You know, that's one thing. And actually the whole of the embryo will be formed from the terminal cell. So these are few important introductory points you need to remember before actually going to the structure. As I said you, the structure here also is uh, consisting of firstly the embryonal axis and single cotyledon. The single cotyledon here is referred to as the scutellum. So the scutellum is in fact shield shaped. So this is one point. The single cotyledon is referred to as scutellum and it is generally shield shaped. And remember that the embryonal axis, you know, generally above the level of cotyledon, above the level of cotyledon is called as epicotyl. In the epicotyl region, we have an important uh, part called as the shoot apex. And the embryonal axis below the level of cotyledon, below the level of cotyledon, we call that as the hypocotyl. So in the hypocotyl region, the important region we have here is radical. So, so then what are the shoot apex and the radical parts here? So, shoot apex are nothing but the leaf primordia. So, which are nothing but the young developing leaves, you know, folded leaves which from which the first shoot arises. And later we have the radical part, you know, which goes positively geotrophic in the soil during germination, initial germination and it helps in the formation of the first root from the embryo. Remember that point children. And further, dear weavers, let me tell you that the shoot apex is enclosed by or covered by a structure called as coleoptile. And further, when we consider the radical part, you know, the coleoriza covers uh, the radical part, gives protection to the radical part. But let me tell you, the radical part is just covered by the root cap. Because root cap is a thimble like structure, cap like structure which protects the root against damage when it moves deep inside the soil and gets firmly attached. During that time, you know, protection is given by the root cap to the radical. In fact, both are covered by a structure called coleoriza. So this, this is, uh, you know, some important, uh, you know, points we need to remember with respect to the development of monocot embryo and just below the shoot apex, let me also tell you that there is a structure called epiblast. It's just a projection, you know, so which we can find here, uh, you know, with respect to the monocot embryo. Generally, it is present here, but it is generally absent with respect to the dicot embryo. So keep following the channel BioZ classes. Keep updated with the upcoming videos. I am very thankful for your kind support. Keep uh, subscribing, you know, like and also share. Give your valuable comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much for your kind uh, and uh, patient hearing.